morning, good morning, good morning guys and dolls. So welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint and today we're just going to be taking a look at the model that I did fairly recently. So this is a battle cruiser from Starcraft. Uh, the model itself is from Gambody. Um, it's a paid it's a paid for STL file. This is scaled up above the original. So um, it's a little hard to get perspective. But um, but this is my this is my hand. <laughs> so it's about one point three meters long, and it's about one meter wide. So um, so it's it's fairly big. And then today, myself and uh, one of my friends have sat down, and we've done all the lighting. So I don't know if you can see on the video, but this pulses to make it look like an engine, and you can go round. All the windows are lit up as you can see. We've got the engine at the back there. Really cool. All the way down the side. So as you can see, we've got these uh, carabiners on there. So the carabiners are gonna be because um, we're gonna be using, um, we're, so this is, this is um, my local 3D print shop called 3D Filer Print. Um, because of the size of this, I can't display it in my office, it's just too big. So they've said that they would really like to, um, to, to display it instead. So the plan is, is um, we're going to 3D print some chains out of Aramid. And, um, and we're going we're gonna to mount this, we're going to hang this from the ceiling by 3D printed chains. Um, it's not light, but it's probably not as heavy as you'd expect it to be. So um, the whole thing is hollow. Um, it comes like that um, and all the channels are already done so that you can do all of the lights and everything else. Um, the whole thing is printed in PLA and it's all printed on home machines. So this was printed on a combination of uh, an Airy One Thinker um, and a Lulzbot Taz 6. And I think I still had my GTEC A30 at the time that I was doing this. Um, that's since been moved on and, and sort of broken down for parts and things. Um, it's about 3,000 hours all in across the machines that I did it on. Um, the only things that aren't PLA are the, uh, the engine parts are done in a blue PET G. And the uh, and the windows are done in a clear pet G, just so that it's all uh, just so that it was transparent, and it was the pet G was just the best thing I found to to to, to do for that. So um, round the back where the engine is, we actually fitted magnets to this, so this whole piece actually just pulls out, and you can see that there's a big magnet there. And then there's magnets there that hold it on. And that allows us to access the inside of the ship if we ever need to access the wires or anything. Um, and then we've just got, it just goes to a power brick. Um, there's 10 meters of LED strip that are on the inside. Uh, it's quite difficult to get some of the windows right because they, they're sort of, they're quite, the walls are quite thick. So you have to get LEDs right behind them, but obviously you don't want to put LEDs right behind them because then you can see them. So we had to sort of go back and forth and back and forth. So there's five meters of LED stripping each side to try and create an ambient glow inside that then comes, that's bright enough to come through the windows. Um, and then we've got about 20 individual LEDs that go into all the engine compartments and all the blocks at the back as well. So the painting is all done by myself. Um, this is mainly, well, this is almost, this is all uh, Vallejo acrylics. So you can see that there's some really nice details in this. Um, I pick, uh, so this probably isn't very true to the original Terran Battle Cruiser from uh, from um, Starcraft, just because I really wanted it to, I really wanted to pick out some bits and make it pop. Um, I didn't really feel like I could do that with the original colours because obviously the original one was so small in the game. That, um, that they didn't really have to worry about sort of everything really popping on the model. So I sort of took a bit of creative license with the color scheme and things. If we go down, you can see that there are guns underneath and all the underneath is painted as well. The, uh, the, that bit lights up um, and it all 
all the windows and everything, all these bits around here. Um, really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, it's quite hard doing large models sometimes because what would have been a, a one millimeter gap on the model as it was originally decided um, ends up being a 10 millimeter gap when you go when you go really big when you scale it up um, so some pieces I've had to cut keys off and things like that I think if I remember right this is about 250 percent bigger than the original model was supposed to be um, Gambody has since um, so they're really they're really really good when it comes to doing um, requests for models so um, if you've bought a model you can actually message them and just say oh this doesn't work or this doesn't fit and they will they will amend it and re-upload it and recently they've actually done a stand for this as well um, which when at a regular size the stand looks really really good obviously i couldn't do a stand at this size um because i just don't think even if i did it because it, it comes in pieces, obviously. I don't. If I did it, I don't even think the PLA would be strong enough to hold up the whole machine. Um, uh, sorry, the, the the whole ship. Like, um, I, I think it would end up breaking. So, um, so yeah. So this is end up going to get bolted to the ceiling, so that uh, so that we can uh, we can display it at the shop, and we can sort of show people what we're doing. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining. See you soon.